Hey everybody, this is Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Okay, I, as you can see in the title of this video, I am going to um, host a swap. Now, I put up a poll here on YouTube um, earlier in the week and, you know, I asked what would everyone like to see on my channel this year and either me host a swap or host a like a hop or a collab well the swap won so as of right now it is 90% to 10% so and, and the question was to host a swap for new crafters. That was the title in the poll. Now, I know I have a lot of new crafters um, that have subscribed to me. And I thank you all. And I know what it's like to be a new crafter, especially if you don't do videos. Okay. Now, I do understand why... When people host these swaps and the collabs, they want you to have crafty um, videos up because there is a lot of, um, unfortunately, scammers. Um, but I am going to um, go for it, okay? So... I guess I will just go over some of the um, rules first off that will basically be for every swap if I do more after this one. And um, so it's going to be U.S. only because this is, you know, stuff that has to be mailed. 18 um, years or older. Now. The way the swap is going to work is everybody will send me their swap and then I'll, I'm going to do a video sharing your swap because I know a lot of you that do not do videos, nobody is really getting to see um, your work too much, especially if you're not allowed to be in any you know, collabs or hops or swaps, okay? So this is a way to get your stuff um, shown. So the postage, I believe the postage is going up. Um, at the end of this month. So I, I know the um, lady at my post office said that the Priority, the padded priority envelopes is going up to $8. Now, that's what I am going to send your swap back to you in. Now, you don't have to send it to me in the padded envelope, but that's how I'm going to send it out. For number one, it's just, um, it's a flat rate. And, you know, it's a padded envelope. And whatever you can get in that envelope ships for the flat rates, okay? Plus, there is automatically a $50 insurance on it. So, um, so that is that. And you can pay me the postage through PayPal or if you just want to send it in with your swap. Now, that is totally up to you because I know a lot of people don't know how to do the PayPal. Okay. Now, today is the, I'll probably upload this on the 5th. Well, that's tomorrow, so. Okay, I'm going to close the swap on the 10th to give everybody enough time to see it and decide if they want to join. Or if I get a lot of people wanting to join, then... I'll close it when it gets full. Whenever I think it's full enough, then I'll close it. This swap right here, because it is for new crafters, okay, 
but all is welcome and I you know encourage my veteran crafters to um, participate as well just to give inspiration to the new crafters out there that would be awesome if you could do that okay so I am by it being you know like I said new crafters I don't want you to get too overwhelmed so I am going to put three people in a group okay so it will be you and two other people so that means you only have to make the projects for two other people unless you want to make yourself one okay now if you want to make me one as the host that is totally up to you it is not mandatory but that's one way that I will be able to show it is because once I open it and tear it open it's okay because um, it don't have to go to anybody but if you choose not to send me one then just make sure the way you package it I'm able to you know open it and show it on video okay if that makes sense okay so let's see I kind of made me some notes so I wouldn't forget anything if you want to swap you have to sign up in the comment section on this video by telling me that you want to swap that way there's no misunderstanding that I know that you want in and that way you will go on the list for me to um, do the groups okay um, if it gets full if the for some reason the swap gets full which I don't think it will but and you want to join I might ask you if you want to be put on standby or some people call it an angel in case someone doesn't doesn't come through or has an emergency to where they can't um, finish the swap okay so um, uh, let's see once I close the swap I will come back to this video and post the groups in the description box and you will know that the groups are listed when you see closed in the title of this video right now it is marked open so once you see closed then you know that the groups are listed <clears throat> so if you have joined the swap and you see that the video is closed then you know I've got your group listed in the description box and I will before I end this video I will show you a lot of people don't understand the description box um, <clears throat> so I know most of you do but some of you do not and I will show you how to get to that um, let's see if you pay your postage through PayPal there is a place to where you can add a note and it'll say note or add note I want you to give me your full name you know first and last name your YouTube name your address because I have to mail your package back and say that it is January swap and the reason that I need your name and YouTube name is because some people's YouTube channel name is unique and that's what they go by but nobody knows their name you know their full name and some people will pay for something through say their spouse's PayPal or their um, you know children's PayPal not children but you know adult child um, and I won't know who you are so I have to be able to connect your YouTube name and your full name because I have to put your name on your package to be mailed back to you okay and there's no way for me to get in touch with you through 
YouTube since they took the messenger away. Okay, so I hope that makes sense, but you, none of this information will go no further than me. So you don't have to worry about it. I'm not sharing anybody's um, full name nor address on my channel. I would never do that. Okay, so now we'll get to the swap, what the swap is. And I know if you've seen my paper, it's going to be a Valentine theme swap. Okay, um, now, if you have any questions about anything, just leave it in the description box. Okay, and I'm going to, I'm going to take my camera down, and I'm just going to show right quick what the description box is, okay? Now, this is, I've already got my computer pulled up on um, my channel, so let's just pick a video. I picked the last one that I did. Okay, so this is the video that I did. So this is right there, and I'll turn the um, out of the LOL sticker. I'll turn the volume off. So right here, and it pretty much looks the same um, on your phone. Okay, but the description box is right up under my name. Okay. So you can see where I've already started, and it says show more. So this is where you would go to. This is what you call a description box. <clears throat> now on your telephone, more than likely, you're over here, you're going to see, excuse me, a little arrow, okay? And when you click on that little arrow, it's going to drop the description box down. So you can see everything. This is where I'm going to list, of course, the rules. And then once you see the title up here, like this one is my TN Tuesday. I'm going to list it like um, swap open. Okay. And once this open turns to closed, then you know to click the description box. And after you see all of the rules, then I will have the groups posted, okay? So, and of course, down here in this description box is where you will tell me you want to play along. And what I'm going to do is this is going to be like first come, first serve. I don't know if anybody knows, but right here, I mean, this is a desktop, but on the telephones, there'll be like three little lines over here. But it says sort by. These are the top comments. And I don't really understand what that is. But here it says newest first. So when I click this, it it the, the way that it comes will be the newest first. Okay. So all the way down. So this is the pers first person that commented on this video. So that's how I will do it. I will always sort it out by newest first. I hope that makes sense and I hope I didn't confuse you. But if I did, just um, leave a comment. So I have got to get on with um, what the swap is before my phone cuts off because you know it will. Okay, so this, I have some samples, okay? So what I thought would be fun um, and not too overwhelming would be three by three note cards. Okay. So what I did is I made, I'm going to go ahead and take them out of here before I show you the packaging, the three by three note cards. So here is one here and you have to <clears throat> do the note cards and the matching envelope. Okay. So here is a note card and this is the envelope. Okay. So here is a three by three note card here. Just very simple. And then there's the inside. Okay, so there's one. Here is another one. Very simple. Okay. And that's the inside of that one. Okay. And here is the third one. And then that's the inside of that one. 
and then here is the last one okay so we're gonna do sets of four okay so four per person okay so these four right here will go to one person and then you would have to make four for each person that's in your group now you don't have to make any for yourself unless you want to so that means you would make eight four for the first person and four for the second person now if you choose to make me one then you would do you know another set of four totally up to you now so i want you to make four note cards and envelopes and i want you to make something to house them in okay now this i just made <clears throat> made this little book you open it up and i did it to where two can go on each side okay like this two fits really good now it also depends on how dimensional you make your note cards but of course you can't make them make them two dimensional or they won't go in the envelope so i did this so i just made this little book okay now this is another option let me take these out because i've only did four cards so far this is another option it's just a little box you open it up i've got some little velcro right there you can use velcro you can use a magnet or you can just like do a belly band however so you open this box up let's see if i can get all four of these together and then all four of these fits see these four fit but if i was to do um like if I would have did another one like really dimensional, it, it probably wouldn't have fit. So that is that one. Okay. And y'all know I don't do tutorials, so I don't have any tutorials on um, these boxes. Now this is just a regular box, box with a lid. These are super duper easy. Okay. And these... Um, sit in there just like that see and I just made this with a um, window and I just put a piece of acetate on the back of it I cut it out with a circle die cut and that's how I did that one now um, all you have to do is really um, if you need a tutorial if you really need a tutorial on either one of these, you don't have to make your um, box the way I made mine. Do it any way you want to. That's your choice. Um, but the Valentine's, um, for each person that you make one for, I want you to make them either a like or very similar, you know. So, um, but this is easy because it's Valentine theme. So, I mean, the flow is real easy on it. Okay. So not too picky, you know, because it is a theme, it's going to be real easy. I mean, your three by three cards does not have to be exactly alike, but as long as they're, um, you know, similar and let's see, I am going to link a um person in the description box to where you can get a tutorial pretty much on any box that you want and that person is going to be um poodles paper craft and she is a stampin up demonstrator from the uk and when i tell you any box that you want to make it is on her channel somewhere, I promise you. But she makes um, a lot of boxes. And, you know, sometimes you can go through her video and you'll see um, three by three note cards or whatever. It's going that. And then YouTube in the search box, just put three by three note cards. And I'm telling you, 
hundreds of videos is going to pop up. Okay. Now this box right here, I, here's another um, example right here. Is the only difference? It's the same box, but the only difference is, is I cut a little circle out here and I put the acetate, and instead of this flap coming over, I just tucked it in, like that. Okay, I just didn't decorate this, but I wanted to show you, you know, options, so you can do it any way you want to. So. That is going to be the swap. Three by three note card with a holder. Whether it's a box or a book, whatever. Okay? Not picky. Um, and one thing that I want to do, if I do any more swaps, I want to start like a little trend. Kind of like. And I want you to include a tag. Okay? Any size tag. It doesn't matter. And I just um, typed this one up. And it's going to be 10 things about me. Okay. And the first one is going to be your name. Like, if you don't want nobody to know your full name, like I could put Lisa G. You don't have to know my last name. If you don't want anybody to know it, that's fine. Or just put Lisa, whatever, you know. And then put on number two, your social media names. If you have YouTube and Instagram or Facebook, you know, you could list those, you know, if you're, um, you know, willing to share. City and state that you live in. Okay, number four is your status and children. You know, are you married with three kids or single with two kids? Um... If any of these you don't want to share, you don't have to fill out like that line. Number five, coffee or tea. Number six, what is your favorite craft style? Number seven, your favorite adhesive. Number eight, your favorite crafty tool. Number nine, do you prefer chocolate or fruity candy? Number ten, what's your favorite music or what do you like? I mean, do you like... Um, classical, do you like country, do you like R&B, do you like rap, rock and roll, classic rock, um, and the reason for this, um, is you may have something in common with somebody that is in your, um, group, and you may just be like two counties over, so that's why I asked for the city and state. Me, I'm probably the only person in my family that does crafts. So I have absolutely nobody to craft with. And I don't really know anybody. Um, I know there's a lot of Georgia crafters, but I don't think there's any like really close. But, you know, you may be close and you might have things in common. You both may be single with two kids. And you both might like coffee, you know. So this is a good way to, um, you know, get to meet somebody. So you might have, you know, four or five things on this list that is exactly like yours, you know. So so I, I really want to start this. And the reason I want it on a tag, because if you did, if, depends on how the swaps go, you could always keep this and like put it on either a um, binder ring or something and keep them all together like for each swap that you do um you know just to get a little closer to you know a crafty friend so i thought that was a good idea um to do for every swap you know if i continue to do it okay you guys i hope i didn't leave anything out but this swap is now open if you want to play along you can leave um, a comment to let me know I will put you on the list and that's it I am going to list all of the rules in the description box um, you know in case you need to go back and look at them but please if you have any questions 
you know, don't hesitate to um, leave me a comment, okay? And we'll see how this goes. I hope I get some people that wants to swap. And um, it's going to be fun. And I will, I'm going to put my address also in the description box for this video. This video is going to be the only video um, pertaining to this swap in the description box because I don't have like a website or a vlog channel or a blog post um, thing. So I'm going to go before my phone cuts off on me because y'all know it will. And um, yeah, let's see how this goes. Thank you all for watching and y'all have a great day.